change of raiment. Zechariah chapter 3, verse 4. Spare the quotation for your servant's Bible class, Hogarth. Very well, my lady. Oh, Hogarth. My lady? I want the key to the room at the end of the south wing. But, my lady, that room hasn't been used since we discovered the secret passage leading to the park. It was last occupied by Sir Ralph's uncle, old... I didn't Sam ask for a history of Marriott Cells, Hogarth, but for a key. Very good, my lady. Thank you. Come, Caroline. Barbara, what on earth... Now, don't you try and thwart me, too. Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher, all is vanity. Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 2, or is it 3? I don't like this room. It's cold, clammy. Oh, it'll be all right when it's been cleaned and aired. Have it done for me, Caro, so that I can move in soon. I'm sure Ralph won't want to. Well, that's the idea. Oh, don't look so shocked. It's quite fashionable nowadays for husbands and wives to have separate rooms. Ralph isn't a fashionable person. More's the pity. He might take me to London and give me a good time. But he did take you on your honeymoon for a whole week to stay with Kingsclear and that patronizing fool of a wife of his, Henrietta. I want to live in the fashionable world. I want to be admired and talked about. I've got brains and looks and personality. I want to use them instead of rotting in this dull hole. Dull? With Ralph? Oh, come, my sweet. Even you must admit he isn't exactly exciting. But if you're in love with someone... Barbara, you are still in love with Ralph, aren't you? <laughs> yes, of course, silly. But one can't spend all one's time billing and cooing. <laughs> Let's change the subject. What about the secret passage? Where is it? There. Oh, why wasn't I told about this before? Come on, let's explore. Oh, I haven't got time. You better have it boarded up. You might get unwelcome visitors. Wouldn't it be useful if I had a lover? Oh, now I have shocked you. I was only teasing. I never know when you're joking. I've got to get the King's Clears room ready. Oh, always the King's Clears. He's a bore and I hate Henrietta. Barbara, why? I'll never forgive her for the things she said at my wedding. Henrietta, how lovely to see you again. Thank you, my dear. But Ralph, you've taken away her sparkle. It's hard to believe that six months could have changed you so much. But I used to quite envy you. You used to look so young and lovely. Oh, is it only six months? Then it must be the journey that's tired you out. Travelling makes one look so bedraggled. Um, uh, Henrietta, uh, what's the latest from London? It's been a brilliant season, really exciting. Never an evening at home. Oh, poor Henrietta. No wonder you look so worn. Don't worry about me, darling. I think I'd rather look worn than dull. Uh, uh, there's a new card game called Ombre sweeping the town. The king's taken it up. It's a change from Find the Lady. <laughs> but I don't suppose you've ever heard of it down here. Oh, on the contrary, I play it regularly. Uh, but uh, In that case, we must test your skill. <laughs> it may cost you more than you care to lose. For a regular player, you play a very irregular game. Fortune hasn't smiled on me yet. No, I should say her expression's definitely a leer. Why don't you stop, Barbara? Your luck may change tomorrow. Tomorrow you leave. At least give me the chance to recover. Well, certainly, darling. After all, it's only midnight. In London, that's when we begin to wake up. Well, I'm no Londoner. I'm for bed. There's no need to wait for me tonight. I hadn't forgotten. Good night. Good night. No. My dear, why do you two sleep apart? Perhaps because in one's own room. It's easier to mind one's own business. Your play, I think. Oh, Ralph, I... I forgot these things are Barbara's. Oh, oh yes. Of course. I, uh, I hear it's quite the fashionable thing for husbands and wives to have separate rooms. Indeed. Ralph, wouldn't it be a good idea if, if you took a house in London and, and did some entertaining? Good? For whom? Well, it, it is rather dull to bury yourself in the country all the year, and, and Barbara would make a wonderful hostess. No, Caroline, what do you suppose would happen here if I were away? Neglect and injustice, all the things I've been striving for swept aside. 
Good night, Caroline. Good night. Had it out, my dear? Or would you like to stake your wedding ring, too? Oh, oh. Don't look so guilty, King's Clare. Barbara knew we were seasoned gamesters. Yes, my dear, but can't help thinking old Ralph won't like it. Well, you'll thank us if it teaches Barbara to be content with housekeeping and other wifely pursuits. I'll play you for this against everything you've won. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Mustn't do it, Hetty. Not fair. How many games shall we play? I'll take it on a single turn of the cards. Cut. Queen. King. Mm, quite pretty, isn't it? It'll wear it next time I go to court. Your mother's, wasn't it? Uh, thank heavens I can lie a bed tomorrow after you leave the town. Glad to see the back of me, eh? Women are all the same once you're married to them. You must console yourself in her absence. I hope, dear Henrietta, you'll stay over the week and give him a fair field. How sweet of you, my dear. But I'm afraid I have a supper party on Friday night, so I must tear myself away by sunset. Still, I shall console myself by wearing your ruby. It'll go perfectly with my new gown. Look out some highwayman fellow doesn't steal it from you. They say the notorious Captain Jackson rides in these parts. Captain Jackson? Who knows? It might be worth the loss of a trinket to meet so bold and handsome a robber. Especially a trinket so easily won. Good night. This is her brooch. It was her dying wish that I should give it to you on your wedding day. I'll never part with it. It means more to me than the skeleton diamonds Marriott sells anything. Still, I shall console myself by wearing your ruby. Look out some highwayman fella doesn't steal it from you. you are with ladies. If a kiss would satisfy you, a kiss or, or anything, I'd... Oh, but Mr. Jackson, please! Thanks for the jewels and the offer. After him! After him! Shoot the scoundrel! Oh, my God! My jewels! My... from it, ever. Oh, I feel quite faint. Drink this brandy. No, to choke me. I thought you'd manage. Henrietta, calm yourself and tell us what happened. What is all this commotion? Henrietta! 